Hey, it's Danny Washington, and you're watching T4O TV. Your place to dive in and get to know your favorite underwater critters. <laughs> you love the ocean? I love the ocean. On today's Species Spotlight, we get to splash around with the oh-so-smooth Southern Stingray. Yep, this beautiful elasmobranch has been swimming by our Grand Cayman camera pretty often. Contrary to popular belief, stingrays are not sitting around waiting to stab you with their barb. Okay, I know, I know you're thinking about Steve Irwin right now. I get it. I miss the crocodile hunter so much. He was one of my heroes, really. But his fluke encounter was a freak accident and really, the chances of that happening to you the next time you're in the ocean are slim to none. These docile animals spend most of their time hidden in the sand, looking for prey like bivalves, crustaceans, and fish that all live on the seafloor. Yes, they have a barber on their tail, but it's simply a defense mechanism against predators like the hammerhead shark. Just like their sharky cousins, one of the coolest things about southern stingray and all stingrays is that they have dermal denticles. It literally translates to skin teeth. Yep. That's a little crazy. I don't know. Can you imagine if humans had skin teeth? That would be weird. Yeah. Well, dermal denticles reduce drag and allow the ray to swim smoothly through the water. Michael Phelps, you better take some notes because you'll be a genius if you can create an amazing swimsuit that mimics dermal denticles. Get with the program. Yeah. Southern stingrays weigh up to 214 pounds. That's a big animal. And check this out. One of my other favorite anatomical features of the stingray are the tubercles, 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 no, no. You see it right there on the screen. You can figure it out. These modified scales are really cool. They run down the midline of the animal and just make them look awesome. Like little dragons swimming through the ocean. Yeah, with their cool little beady eyes. These beautiful animals can be found throughout the Caribbean and the Southern Atlantic Ocean. And if you happen to be diving or snorkeling, well, it's a ton of fun to hang out with them. Thankfully, the IUCN has not listed them as endangered, but they are listed as data deficient, meaning that there isn't enough information about these guys that we know. So it's all the more reason for you to get out there and learn more. And remember, step up for the ocean because the ocean needs you and you need the ocean. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time on T4O TV.